Now that's a Texas-sized putt. Patrick Reed with the 64-footer. Players had to get it done on the greens today because as you can see, it was quite the windy day here on Thursday at the AT&T Byron Nelson. The early tee times like co-leaders James Hahn and Ricky Barnes produced the low scores, but it was an adventure for everyone out there. That's right, make sure and limber up Brooks Kepka because you never know where you're gonna end up. From under a folding chair to almost in the hole. Oh, oh, shot, which he's done brilliantly. How about one that does go in? Gotta get back in the saddle, ladies and gentlemen. See that, I called that one right. No, it's gonna go in, I didn't call that. Not all birdies are that easy though. Jay Day from off the cart path with his up and down on 11. Go, oh, little. Go stop, oh, yes. no, I lost what a great both shot. of them. Just before that, the Aussie drained one for Eagle on seven. How about this? Look at this. And there's your Eagle. Pretty impressive stuff from the former AT&T Byron Nelson champ, considering he played in the tougher afternoon conditions where nothing seemed to go their way, no matter how dialed in they were. This just isn't fair. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is not good. But we all know golf isn't fair, right, Donkey? I mean, Maddie? Oh, Maddie. It, oh, man. Sometimes the game really bites. But then it keeps you coming back after walk-in putts like this. Oh, Jason. Dallas native Jordan Spieth was feeling right at home, so much so he decided to test a new putter. We kick things off bright and early again on Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern time here at the AT&T Byron Nelson on PGA Tour Live. I'll see you then and again Friday night in The Takeaway.